Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Well, this is my second week on my second pass of reading the Bible. Now, Kristen from Living Able YouTube channel and my brother Mike both suggested that instead of reading Genesis to Revelation, that I should read it in chronological order this time. Now, I thought Genesis to Revelation was chronological order, so who knew? So I've got a, a reading sheet that tells me what the order is and uh, I don't know if I know enough yet that that will make a difference in how I understand it so I'm curious to find out and I'll let you know. The other thing that happened this week I thought I'd share is that I met someone who I had not talked to since I had started reading the Bible. When I met them we were both in what I would call New Age thinking. Uh, I was aligned with spiritual if you asked me if I was spiritual or religious, I would have jumped on the spiritual wagon 100%. I was anti-church, I guess. Um, did not begrudge people that went to church, but I didn't feel it was necessary. I didn't feel it was even healthy sometimes because I felt many churches, being that they were made up of people, had a lot of politics and things like that that kind of muddied the water when it came to God. I always believed in God. I always believed in Jesus, but I didn't believe in a structure of church. I didn't see the Bible as important as I see it now. I didn't understand that it was the word of God. And where again, after reading it, it's opened my eyes to a lot of things. And the thing that kind of surprises me the most is I went to a church, I won't say which one, for a few years, 15, 20 years ago, and it was a Bible preaching church. The minister had gone to Bible school. Uh, they talked about the Bible. Now, again, growing up with the epistles and gospels and the stories of the Bible, and then even in this church, I heard about the Bible for years and years and my entire life but I never read the Bible. So I never really understood how all these stories fit together. So when I was with that church though, I assumed if they preach from the Bible that it was biblical church. Looking back at it now, I know they would say they didn't believe Jesus was the Son of God. They believed he was a good example and a righteous man and a really important guy in history. But they didn't believe he was the Son of God. At least that's how I remember it. Could be wrong. They could have changed their tune since that, since then. But I look now and think, well, that's kind of dangerous because I was thinking I was going to a Bible-based church. And I remember my sister and brother back then were not comfortable with me going to this church, and I never understood why. Now, after reading the Bible, I totally get why they were uncomfortable with me going to the church. And you look around, and there's so many thousands of ministers and pastors and people quoting the Bible and people following them, but not all of them are preaching the Bible entirely. They're picking pieces out. And so, which is, I think, dangerous and not fair because when I was going to that church, I really felt I was saved. And I really felt I was going to go to heaven and all of that, even though I didn't understand anything in the Bible. And now I see that that's not the case unless you take that step and believe that Jesus is your Savior and ask him to you know, be, be your Savior and accept him into your heart. But it surprised the person that I would have done the 180 I did. And I guess maybe it wasn't a whole 180 because I believed in God, I believed in Jesus. So, um, but I definitely now feel that I missed the boat for a lot of years. And I'm glad I had an opportunity to figure it out before I died. I know my sister and brothers are relieved. And, um, and now I'm talking about it more to document my journey and figure out as I progress how my faith deepens and what changes because again I'm, this is all so new to me uh, but it's a journey that I'm finding is bringing me a lot of peace and and as you get into your 60s 
peace is a commodity that you really value and it affects every part of your life um, your relationships your health your well-being you know overall so I'm very grateful that I found it I'm grateful that I was open to it when the time was right and so again I suggest anyone that's watching this especially if you're in your 50s 60s 70s and 80s if you haven't read the Bible yet give it a shot until something kicks in because it's kind of an eye-opening experience but anyway as always grab your cup of tea sit back and let's start sharing until next time bye bye